Job 22.3. Job is angry now. He was doing all right in the first two chapters. Then the preachers came along and said things that made him angry. One of them who started out well, he was a friend of Job's. By and by, he had enough of Job's complaints and yelling and screaming and uh, defending himself. And Eliphaz says in chapter 22, verse 3, Hey, 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 you think that a mortal man can contribute anything to God? You think he can help him? You think because he's good that uh, God gets any real benefit? You think it really matters? And he's talking about Job, don't you see? You think it really matters how you behave? Nothing you do. No uprightness, no kindness, goodness, nothing that you do has uh, any benefit for God. There's no difference to him. Hmm. Eliphaz, in the middle of all of the talk, said something fine. Lots of things he said fine. You see all of what I just alluded to there in 22.3? It was all a lie. You think it doesn't matter? That we stand upright and do what's right and be faithful to God, good to people, forgiving and, and living and, and uh, helping to make a, a level playing field for the people in the voiceless. Huh? Eliphaz says, no matter what good people do or good things that people do, it doesn't make a bit of difference to God. He's a liar, the character in the book. It matters greatly how you live. It matters greatly how I live. I'm not saying you're Jesus and you won't be Jesus. I get that. How often do we have to say that? Not week after week. But um, you have your flaws. And yet, you who love God, you love God. You who are having an honest shot at living, you're there. You're real. You are doing what Job did. You are fighting God's battle for him. And like Job, nobody comes and whispers in your ear out of heaven that that's what's going on. But it's true just the same. Stay with that. Believe, believe this. That God risks his reputation on you. Oh, believe that. I don't care who you are. God bless you.